Hello, welcome back. Last time, I uh, got Dolores as a playable character, and things got kind of complicated because I have a lot of people to look after now. Uh, I came here, talked to her sister a little bit. Lenore doesn't like her much. Um, I have a whole bunch of people here. Uh, things. Um, lots of to-do lists to look, f look at, and not really a lot of direction for what makes sense to do next. There was something that I forgot to do last time that I want to do now. Um, the big book of really interesting backstory that I found at Chuck's office mentioned this is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. Mentioned it a It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Uh-huh, yes, Dolores. Mentioned an SR01 programming manual. I don't need to find any books now. You don't? Are you sure? Uh Yeah, this is not like Okay, fine. I guess that's not something I need to look up. Those don't... How are those organized? So for each number, they're alphabetical, but, like, what do the numbers mean? <laughs> I know something about the Dewey Decimal System, but not the Spewy Decimal System. Supposedly there's a phone... There is a phone here. That's a phone. Alright, so I tried to call Brant Bailiwick. He didn't answer his phone, he just had a message. So apparently he's the wrong lawyer to read Dolores' will. No one here specified which lawyer they wanted. Like, isn't that normally... Like, I thought a will was, like... A, a, a specific lawyer managed that, and that was set up while the person is still alive. Though, I don't know much about wills, actually. <laughs> so I might be wrong about that. Uh, find out what happened to Dad. Uh-huh, that's a big task. Get lawyer to read Uncle's will. Not Brant Bailiwick, apparently. Collect specks of dust. Oh, you don't have any other to do item? Well, hang on. I do have something I can do with find out what happened to Dad. I got a vacuum tube here. It was very rare. I wanted to take it to Ricky's Cakes. Uh, uh, no, not Ricky's Cakes. I wanted to take it to YouTube <laughs> and see if she might know anything about it. Like when it was purchased, uh, if that could possibly help me out. Is she on B Street? I've never gone to Trailhead or Abandoned Factory or Radio Station, so I should visit those places. Probably with agents would make the most sense, just to see, investigate them. Uh, YouTube, where are you? No, yeah, YouTube's here. Oh, hey, so is Reyes. <laughs> hey, Ricky. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. She knows me. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Uh, sure. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. Pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies, but over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. She did not say the word early, even though it was in the script. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart Buy Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Yes, here it is. This is a top-of-the-line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. W wait, what? I give her a receipt and she gives me a tube puller? That's not how things work. <laughs> okay, I guess you did me a favor. It's a special tool to remove vacuum tubes in the TX and AT class. Neat! That's an AT25. It's a spare AT25 tube. Very rare. Hard Ooh. to find. Okay, I have an idea. Um, what this might be for. Alright, so I have a spare tube. Hi, Reyes. Uh, hey, while you're here, Dolores, why don't you pick up a map at the Quickie Pal? It's a handy thing to have. Need to make sure everybody has those. Also, what would Leonard have to Can say to Dolores? Hi, Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> Shame to hear about Chuck's death. He was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. <laughs> right. She did not agree. Uh... How's your cousin doing? I heard he got into MIT. Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. So his cousin was implied to be Bernard Bernoulli, I believe, from Maniac Mansion and Day of the Tentacle. Uh, that was what I gathered, at least. Uh, the town looks pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. 
Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. Mm -hmm. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Is it? I guess it's just not open at this time of night. The rat decided the com cardboard box wasn't comfortable enough and moved back to the napkin. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah! I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. <laughs> That's how you it works. Work for mucus phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. That is definitely a real thing that happens. Still working at the quickie pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real here while I work on my inventions. Are you an inventor? You're an inventor? <laughs> well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. There's this fancy invention called a pencil and paper that can help you with that. Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who wouldn't want to be like him? Well, me, for one. <laughs> my uncle wasn't perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. Yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was my uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Barf-tastic. <laughs> See ya, Leonard. Come back soon, Dolores. Pick up. I had caps lock on last time. That was why my hotkeys weren't working. I got a map. I'm going to use it. To go... Wait, why am I using this map? I got a tube puller. Right, I had an idea for what to do with that. So I have a spare AT-25. The robot head in Chuck's office has an AT-25 in it. I don't believe it's currently operational, so perhaps I could swap the two and get the robot to tell me what happened to him, if that's not too much of a stretch. Doug is there. I wonder if he's the one who labeled this office it's key. It's key. So I don't know where the office is exactly. All right, so there's our finger, fingerprint, uh, robot head. So look at this. It's a TX-11388 oh, tube in perfect condition. Okay, well, the tube puller also works on that. Uh, Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Perhaps the only thing he needs is to swap the tube for this kind. It doesn't work in that. No, okay. Uh, it's a TX-11388 tube, all fresh and shiny. Well, they have tubes. Um, so that's... All right. So TX-11381138. Uh, not it's this. Uncle it's uh, that. Oh, hey, volume one. There might be another volume. Uh, where do I know that number from? From that stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. Okay. So that's an important number for some reason. But why do I need this tube? Well, I have it now. It's a defunct robot prototype. Does it take one of these? It doesn't work in that. Does it take one of these? It doesn't work in that. Nope. All right, fair enough. Scope, bed, box. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Open! Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Okay. Uh, at least there's no Chuck to stop me. Uh, strange device. It's a strange device with a red button. Oh. I'd have to pick it up first. Okay. Hey, I got something. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Yes, you should. I really don't think I should use this. Do it. Maybe I should save the game first. <laughs> Fine. I'll save the game. Do it. Okay, I'm pushing it. Whoa. <laughs> oh man that's an actual game over <laughs> so those do exist oh man it's almost like this is a sierra game <laughs> okay it says philip's dangerous device device has a red button and a speaker on it why is a speaker? Why is there a speaker? Uh... 
Okay, well, that felt like an Easter egg. I don't feel like that's... I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Uh, is there anything in this box? Nothing in here nope. but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. Okay. Uh, turning on the lights doesn't help me, right? It looks a little nicer. Nothing I can really see that I couldn't without that. Alright. Huh. So, office. Pretty Wait, dark I tr in here. tried this before. I'm gonna try Feeling this just a little more. Eh. Nah, I just don't think... Oh, hey, Doug's gone. Hmm, that's interesting. No pinching. So that door goes there. Feeling my way along. This one does not go back to where it came from. I can also just walk there, huh? Yeah, okay, so if there's anything hidden inside these doors, oh. Uh, I don't want to bother exhaustively checking. Well, now what about ah! this? Okay. Um, LFG 1982. Okay, so I can't pull that one with this tube puller. It's an LFG 1982 tube in perfect condition. Oh, hey, red gel decoder. It's a red gel decoder. What's that? It's a red gel decoder. Uh. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. <laughs> uh. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. What might I want to make look red? So... I don't want to do that. It would make it look right, red. Right, so that's like one of those color filter things that you put over text that's printed in multiple colors and it filters out other colors so you can read the text more clearly, basically. I've used those before. Uh, hmm... Okay... So, I got this tube puller. I got a tube. I Just could... I don't know what to do with them, though. I could work on somebody else's tasks, I guess. Great. Now I'm carrying <laughs> out a handful of black soot. Neat. <laughs> uh, right, not much in the refrigerator. I'm going to take this. Can I drink this yet? Uh, no. All right. Um, there's nothing and there's nothing inside. Right, there's nothing inside any of those. I remember, unless it's changed since. Oh, hey. All right. Hmm. So it doesn't seem like there's much. This clock looks vaguely. F it doesn't seem like there's much to do at. What kind of tube is that? It's an LFG one nine oh, hey. two tube in perfect condition. Same thing that the printer takes. Okay, um, why don't I, let me do this, um, let's be Ray, so she's right to there. I focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I'm gonna go to a new place. What's the trailhead? Puddle. What the? <laughs> I was not expecting that. There's a pizza person here. It's a puddle full of muddy water. Pick up puddle. I don't want to pick that up. <laughs> it's not that you can't, it's that you don't want to. Why is there a pizza person here? Oh, and possibly a bear or something? This looks... This is one of these things. Mm -hmm. I've done these before in adventure games. Hey, look, thimbleberries. It's a bush with red berries on it. Get berries. Damn, crap, ouch. Beep. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, the thorns on that bush are razor sharp. So now my hand is bloody. Whatever animal is... I guess I can't get any <laughs> berries. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Uh, I may be in danger here. Oh, that took me back here. Oh, hey, dust. Get dust. Get dust. Where'd it, where'd it go? It was there. 
I can't see it anymore. So I have to be able to see it to point at it to pick it up, I guess. Yeah, that didn't show up at the highlights. Huh, okay. Um, wash off your hands. That doesn't seem to work. Probably not in a muddy puddle. That's not a good place to do that. Um, so I can get a bloody hand there. Something growls at me. There are various paths that do not clearly lead anywhere. Path, 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 path. What if I just go straight to the right? That probably won't do anything for my prediction. I ended up at a different thimbleberry bush. It's a bush with red berries on it. Okay. And now I'm back here. Yeah, I need um I need some sort of navigational aid. There's a pizza person in the spooky forest somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's a lot lighter here. Abandoned factory. This seems like a place that this guy would rather go to. You need a map. He's really interested in abandoned factory stuff, last I knew. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Nope, I found it myself. Uh, go to abandoned factory. That trail doesn't seem to go anywhere. You came in from a different angle. Alright, there's Ray. Mm -hmm. Okay. The future used to be a wonderful thing. <laughs> Foreclosed by order of safety first safely first Foreclosed savings. Foreclosed by order of safely first savings. That's what I said. And in small print, for inquiries, contact safely first savings probate executor of this property. Okay. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. Uh, something changed here. He found a map? Well, no, I already did that. What changed here? Uh, hey, remember to call mom tonight. Who's your mom, Antonio? Uh, this was telling me something changed. Hmm. Uh, all right, whatever. So, um... It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. I have a key, but it's for the office. I mean, the factory is not exactly an office, probably. I could try it. Uh, might as well. Uh, hey, you. I can't switch here. Um, well, okay, what's a radio station? 198.7 FM, K-Scum, Fireflies or something. Oh. The government is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. <laughs> this song again. <laughs> nice. That doesn't seem to work. Alright, it's already on. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. <laughs> of course it has. There's a thick layer of dust on it. And a message. Can I pick up some specs? No one's taking my desk or anything else in here. I have glue. <laughs> C.S. Pretty <laughs> disgusting. Looks like it was repaired with glue. <laughs> or something sticky. Hmm. I don't want to know more. Something sticky. Interesting playlist. Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. Tuna Head, then you say? Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes, followed by Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes, and featuring Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. And finally, <laughs> Tuna Head by Razor and the Scumettes. So, Tuna Head. It's an empty can of Tuna Heads. Tuna Heads. The good parts. Hmm. Still. Whoops. Uh, get key to factory gate. You have that on your list now. Joke book page, specks of dust. Just say that again. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads. The good parts. Still has that uh, fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. I haven't opened this package. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, right. There's an open button. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown. 
We hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare oh, endangered hey. species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Well, I've been looking for one of those. Um, you are not performing an investigation, but you can help somebody help out somebody who is. Uh, sure, you. Um, Ray, I'm gonna give you. I could probably do this as ransom, but I just don't feel like that makes sense. <laughs> not that this I makes don't sense. Have enough to carry already. Uh, candy dispenser. He Willie might want that too. This is my. Prototype. Oh, okay. I'm not handing it over to anyone. That's Ransom's. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy barfer. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks <laughs> instead. Neat. <laughs> cool. Oh, <stop> burn. <laughs> well, that's pretty neat. All right. So, hey, I have a wallet. Uh, I know somebody who wants that. I believe he's on A Street. Yeah, he was at the end of A Street. Uh, so. so that's... This notebook was dancing to Y. I don't know. Uh, okay, so Willie. Willie over here. Let's trade wallets. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Nope. I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Okay, cool. Timberweed Park guided tour? Yeah, shush. Uh, okay, so tell me something. Um, find suspicious item with blood on it. Take a blood swab from the body. I just had a thought. Uh, I'll check out the radio station later. I wonder if I could swab it with, um, actually, let's see, I want to give, so Ray has the blood swab kit, right? Um, I'm just wondering if this, Very plush yeah, with toilet paper. I'm wondering if that would work as a swab. Uh, give that to Ray. I, I don't have enough to carry already. Use uh, toilet paper with. No, wait, that's the fingerprint kit. Okay, yeah, no, the blood swab is just a thing of its own, but the fingerprint kit needed tape? There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint yeah. powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Gotta find fingerprint tape, got it. What kind of. That's. It's a pretty big um, vacuum tube. That's a WC67, right. Can't pull that. Uh, hey, why am I doing this the slow way? Alright, so bodies should still be here. Nobody's taken it. Use... This with that. That works. There we go. I have a blood sample. It's dripping. Gross. Uh, okay, great. I believe I can get a Bloodtron report from, yeah, Main Street, somewhere. North is fine. So I'm wondering if the whole game takes place in, uh, during this evening. I was figuring, uh, two agents would go to the hotel, you know, sleep, and do stuff the next day, but no, seems like everybody's just doing things all at once in the evening. Alright, uh, use. Bloody toilet paper, ew. <laughs> uh, with Bloodtron. 3,000. It's too soggy to put in the Bloodtron. It is? Uh, wait, what? What do you mean? Uh, so it's... It's soaked with a dead body's blood. What a mess. Too, uh... Too soggy? Do I have to dry it out somehow? It's a pretty big vacuum tube. SR 5858. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. She identified this one when I clicked it's a pretty it and big this one. Vacuum tube. But not this one. It's a it's a pretty It's just big a pretty big vacuum, vacuum tube. tube. Uh So, you're dripping. How do I 
It's too soggy. It's too soggy to put in the blood tron. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The blood tron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Too soggy. What could I do about that exactly? Take a blood swab from the body, but I, I did that. That's not... That doesn't count as a... That will work, she said. But that's not checked off. So, there's... Can I, like, blot it on a... Gross. <laughs> I agree, but, like, it's too soggy and I need to do something about that. Like, I need to wipe it on something? Or, like... Does anybody have an object that would make sense to combine with that? I could put it in a tuna can. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Like, what do you mean it's too soggy? Key to factory gate. Right, okay, so Ransom and Dolores are interested in that. It's hey! Don't get your hopes up, though. Hang on just a second. So this is combining some uh, ideas from other people, but um, I'm going to... Oh, hi, Dolores. <laughs> uh, use gas can with chainsaw. All, gas stop. All right, so I can use the chainsaw. Yeah, somebody had the idea to uh, use the chainsaw on the branch that's blocking the sewer entrance. That sounds like a good idea. Let's try it. I forgot what else I was doing. Right, I have that blood swab problem. I'm not quite sure what to do about that yet. Let's try this. It's full of chainsaw gas. Chainsaw gas. <laughs> Put it right back in the pocket. <laughs> ends here at this huge rock wall all right good job Reyes got the sewer entrance oh That's hey disgusting. sewer entrance better take a deep breath guess what I can find in there hmm darkness that's what I find I need illumination <laughs> I could use the ransom lighter on the gas can or something uh, that sounds like a terrible idea uh, nobody has, like, a flashlight or a lantern or anything, right? I mean, I could... Tr mm, those don't light up if they're not powered. Uh, it's the official Ransom the mm. Cloud candy barfer. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it. But it emits deadly sparks instead! Deadly sparks. Okay, so Ransom doesn't want to give that to anybody, so I can't just get it from him. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have a source of illumination here, and I don't know what to do about this problem. Uh, okay, so let's see if Ray will... I need will... to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Maybe it's not this dark in other parts of the... See, like, okay, so there's stuff here. I'm sure it says people who turn <laughs> on light are ten <laughs> times smarter than those who bumble around in the dark. So you say turn on lights. Hey, look, a light switch. Problem light solved. Switch. Might help me see in these dark sewers. Okay, don't need another source of light. Uh, I don't want to look too closely in case something comes out. Some type of knob or valve looks rusty and immovable. Exposed wires that look kind of dangerous. An ad for smart buy electronics. Buy six for the price of one? Huh. No wonder they went out of business. <laughs> if you are reading these, turn back immediately. Sewers are no place for people who bother to read signs on walls. Huh. Buy Howard the Dog at the Laser Disc Chalet. Signed by crowd member number 453, 
Ron Gilbert. Ron Gilbert? I know him. An article from 1972 about the factory fire. But the text has faded, so I can't read it. Okay, so we need to do something about faded text. Up. Oh, or not. Hmm. Alright then. This must be where any water drains to. <laughs> what a brilliant insight. <laughs> Promotions from businesses that closed down in town. So what's all this stuff doing in the sewer? That's a weird place to put it. It's a very long sewer tunnel. Okay, go to it. Ah, this looks vaguely familiar. Have I been here with Ray? I'm actually not sure whether I have or not. Uh, dust? I knew that would be here. Yeah, this was the way the... Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. I thought that was the way the sheriff escorted her out, but no, this is a different place. Okay, so, sewer to explore, um, several problems to solve, I need to... There's gotta be something reasonably obvious I can do with that, or maybe it's not reasonably obvious, I don't... I don't know. I don't know why specifically this won't accept it. Like, it says it's too soggy, but... What do you want me to do about that? Like, do I combine it with something else and put it in a container, or like, blot it on something to get it slightly less soggy, or what? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, got this thing I don't know what to do with. Comic, poster, joke book, right, joke book page missing somewhere. Uh, need to find key to the factory. I didn't do anything with Franklin today. I don't really know what to do with him. Um, get into penthouse. I'd like to try to talk to Dolores somehow. Visit Chuck's tomb. Can't because Xavier doesn't let me out. And Clara doesn't let me go talk to him. So Franklin seems slightly stuck. But maybe if I messed with him, I could figure out something. All right, cool. Uh, see you next time to do lots of stuff. Probably sewers first. Look for mushrooms. Sounds good. Yep, see you then.